Hello and welcome today. I'll be doing a swing state analysis on the state of Wisconsin. But before we get started, please go subscribe. We're currently at 341 subscribers. Let's hit 350 by the end of the month. So go and subscribe and let's get started. So Wisconsin is going to be one of the most important states in the 2020 election. We have nine days left until election day. And I've already filled out the safe counties for Donald Trump and Joe Biden. I have the 2016 results and the 2018 governor election results, exit polls, and a map that will show a Trump victory and a map that will show a Biden victory. So we're going to first look at, we're going to look at this county here, which is Door County. It shifted Republican going from Barack Obama to Donald Trump. It went to Trump by only about two points, and it stayed with Scott Walker by about two points. So if Trump's going to win the state, he will most likely win this county in the lean column. But Biden will probably win it in the lean column for him if he's to win the state. Moving into Sheboygan County, this went to Donald Trump by 16 points, shifted Republican only 10 points previously, and it stayed and actually expanded going to a 20-point victory. This will go safe in both scenarios for Donald Trump in a Biden victory as well, showing that the county has been shifting Republican, continuing even to a Democratic wave year. Moving into... Racine County, this went to Donald Trump by four points, and it stayed with Scott Walker and even expanded up to five. This county is shifting, and it'll probably be in the likely column if a Trump victory is to happen, and a lean column if it's a Biden victory. The county also shifted very much Republican in 2016, previously going to Barack Obama, shifting to Donald Trump, and shifting even further in the midterm elections. Going into Brown County or Green Bay, it went to Donald Trump by 11 points, shifted previously going only 2 points to Mitt Romney, and it continued, actually it stayed about 10 points in 2018 in both scenarios, Green Bay will go in the likely column. In Outagam County, it went to Donald Trump by 13, shifted towards him. And in 2018, it went to Scott Walker by 11. It showed that the county stayed relatively the same, shifting Republican. So in both scenarios, it will go likely. In Oshkosh, or Winnebago County, it went to Donald Trump by 7 points, shifted Republican previously going to Barack Obama, and holding a 3-point margin for Scott Walker. In a Trump victory, it will go likely, actually, hold on, yeah, it will go likely, and in a Biden victory, it will go lean Trump. In Jefferson County, it went to Donald Trump by 16 points. In 2018, it went to Scott Walker by 14. In a Trump victory, it'll go safe. In a Biden victory, it will go likely and close to a safe margin. In Rock County, south of Ma uh, Madison, it went to Hillary Clinton by about 9 points. And in 2018, it went to Tony Evers by about... 19. This county will go likely in a Trump victory and safe in a Biden victory. In Greene County, it went to uh, Tony Evers by about 12 points, and it went to Hillary Clinton by about 3. The county shifted heavily Republican, going 18 points to Barack Obama and shifting to only a 3-point victory for Hillary Clinton. It shifted back by eight points to Tony Evers. In both scenarios, it's going to be in the likely column. I do not see this county going into the lean. It shifted a lot, and it shifted back a lot as well due to probably low turnout. In 
in Columbia County. It went to Donald Trump by about two points. Shifted Republican. It went to Barack Obama by 14 and shifted back to Tony Evers by about six. In a Trump victory, this will go lean to Biden. And in a Biden victory, this will go likely. In Portage County, it went to Hillary Clinton by three. It went to Tony Evers by five. Both scenarios are going to be in the lean. But in a Biden victory, it's going to be very close to a likely margin. In, did I do Green County? I did do Green County. Okay. In uh, Lafayette County, it went to Donald Trump by nine. It went to Scott Walker by three. In a Trump victory, this will be a likely margin of victory. In a Joe Biden victory, this will be a lean margin of victory. In Iowa County, it went to Hillary Clinton by about 14, and it went to Tony Evers by about 21. This county is going to be shifting back into the safe margin in both scenarios. In Salk County, it went to Trump by less than one point, shifted heavily Republican, and it and it flipped back to the Democrats by 11. In a Trump victory, this will be a lean county. In a Biden victory, this will be a likely county. Moving into Grant County, it went to Trump by nine, shifted from a 14-point victory by Barack Obama, and shifting back to the Democrats by 0.2 points. Actually, uh, 1.2 points. In a Trump victory, this will be a likely county. In a Biden victory, I do see this county flipping back either way. It went very nearly in a Democratic wave year, and there was pretty low turnout. Did I do... No, I did not. I'll do that county next. Richland County. It went to Trump by about four points. It flipped back. Went to Tony Evers by about five. In a Trump victory, this will be a lean county for Trump. And in a Biden victory, this will be a lean county for Biden. In Crawford County, it went to Trump by about four. Flipped back. Went to Tony Evers by three. In a Trump victory, it'll be a lean county. In a Biden victory, it'll be a lean county for Biden. In Vermin County, it went to Trump by about four. It flipped back, went to Tony Evers by two. In a Trump victory, it'll lean to Trump. In a Biden victory, it will lean to Biden. In La Crosse County, it went to Hillary Clinton by nine. It went to Tony Evers by about 15. In a Trump victory, it'll go likely. In a Biden victory, it'll go likely, but more narrow. I mean, uh, more of a larger victory. Moving into Jackson County, went to Trump by 11. Went to Scott Walker by about 5. I see this county going likely in a Trump and Biden victory, just more narrow in a Biden victory. In Temperula County, it went to Trump by 12, shifted very much Republican, previously previously going to Barack Obama, and holding and going 10 points to Scott Walker, showing that the county is continuing its shift. It'll go likely in both scenarios. In Pep, uh, Pepin County, it went to Donald Trump by about 60% or 26 points, shifted back, went to Scott Walker by only 13. There was a lot lower of a turnout. I see the county going safe in both scenarios. In Eula Clear County, it went to Hillary Clinton by about 6. It went to Tony Evers by about 12. Both scenarios will be a likely margin of victory. Into Chippewa County, it went to Donald Trump by six, 19 points. And it went to Scott Water by 13. 
both uh, a Trump victory. I could see this going probably in the safe margin, and a Biden victory will go likely. And Dune County, it went to Trump by 12, and it went to Scott Walker by 3. So a likely margin if Trump's to win, and a probably a likely margin as well. I don't see it dropping below 5 points. And Pierce County, it went to Trump by 13. It went to Scout Walker by 4. Both will be likely scenarios. In St. Croix County, it went to Trump by about 19. And it went to Scout Walker by about 15. Both scenarios will be a safe margin. In Ashland County, it went to Hillary Clinton by 11, and it went to Tony Evers by about 23. Both scenarios will be a safe margin. And Sawyer County went to Trump by about 18, and it went to Scott Walker by about 13. Both scenarios will most likely be in the safe column. And Bayfield County went to Hillary Clinton by 9, went to Tony Evers by about 19. So a likely margin in a Trump scenario and a safe margin in a Biden victory scenario. In Douglas County, went to Hillary Clinton by 8, and it went to Tony Evers by 20. Both will be likely and one will be safe. And finally, Kenosha went to Trump by about... Uh, 0.3 points, and it went to uh, Tony Evers by about 3 in a Trump victory. It, he doesn't need Kenosha, but he will probably win it by a little under a point, and if it's a bind victory, he'll probably win it by about uh, 0 to 2 points. So these are the two different maps. There's five pivot counties. All of the, um, Almost all of them in here, which is these three, which are Crawford, Richland, Vermin, uh, Kenosha County, as well as there's another one that's shifting. Uh, that's three. Which one am I missing out on? There's a county that is, oh, here, and Door County. So these are the five counties to look out for on Election Day. Richland Vermin, Crawford, Kenosha, and Door County. Now to look at the exit polls. Trump is likely to gain among male voters and lose among female voters. He will have to balance it out enough to win over the state. Among uh, age voters, Trump's likely to lose some support among 65 and older. But Biden will have to get the 18 to 29 vote because Trump is likely to gain between the 30 and 64 vote. Trump actually won the 18 to 24 vote by about two percentage points, which is pretty good. Among race, Trump's likely to stay relatively the same with white voters, but Barack, uh, not Barack Obama, uh, Joe Biden will likely have to gain support among African Americans and Latino voters, which make up a smaller portion of the state, but he will have to turn them out and get a large margin to be able to flip the state. Among education, Biden's likely to gain among college grads and postgraduates. Trump's likely to gain among high school and less and stay the same with some college degree. And income, Biden will have to gain some more momentum with the under $30,000. Trump's likely to gain between the thirty and $200,000. In party ID, Trump won over independence as well as he won more Democrats than Hillary Clinton won Republicans. Biden will have to narrow the gap with independence if he is to win the state. Trump will have to hold on to independence. Let's see. Uh... Any other 
Obamacare, Hillary, Trump. Where is the type of, uh, what is, where's the issues at? Here we go. The most important issues facing the country, the number one was economy, followed by terrorism, immigration, then foreign policy. Economy is likely to be the number one again for Wisconsin, and that's going to heavily go to Donald Trump, followed by COVID-19, then race relations, and then most likely foreign policy or immigration, maybe health care, but health care probably will go under COVID-19. So I'd probably say foreign policy is probably the fourth one. Trump's likely to do good among the economy and do good with the the voters that are counting on the courts, which with uh, Amy Coney Barrett and uh, all the other supporters of Trump's uh, judge nominees. Um, Biden's likely to do good with the COVID-19, and there's going to be a mix with the race relations. Foreign policy is likely to be a mix, too, maybe slightly favoring Biden. And lastly, we're going to look at the region type and area type. Uh, Trump won over suburban and rural voters. Trump's likely to gain among rural voters, and uh, suburban voters are going to be up again, but it's going to heavily favor Trump. Urban voters, Biden will have to turn up more urban voters and get more percentage of the vote if he's going to win the state. Um, the area type, Milwaukee County, Biden will have to turn up more voters as well as in the southwest. Trump did very good with the southeast, northeast, and northwest. He's likely to turn out even more voters there and get a higher percentage of the vote. So there's going to be more division between the urban and rural vote. Suburban vote is going to be in between and favoring Trump in Wisconsin. So we're going to lastly look at a Trump victory map and a Biden victory map. The three, the five counties to look at are Richland, Crawford, Vernon, Kenosha, and Door counties. Look at those five counties on election day. Thank you for watching. Please go like, comment, and subscribe. Let's hit 350 subscribers at the end of the month. Thank you for watching.